Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire Go 15. This is going to be the AG15 series 51P model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your memory. So first thing, power down your computer, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now there are 10 screws in this bottom case. After you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and you're going to go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from your computer. It's generally best to start near the rear, near one of the two hinge assemblies. I found it easiest from this middle section right here to start prying it up. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. Go nice and slow but firm. And if you get stuck going in one direction, leave it. Go to the other side and continue in the other direction. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any of the replacement or upgrade components for this specific model, the AG1551P, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts. Here's your battery, right down here. Now before touching anything in a computer, it's always best to remove or at least unplug your battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. It's held in by these two screws on either side, and it plugs into the motherboard right here near the green arrow. Now, as with any cables or wires in a computer, avoid pulling on them when at all possible. Just manipulate the plug. So as you see here, there's a grip on either side, so you can use a pry tool or your fingernails to wiggle that out of that port right there. If you pull on wires or cables in a computer, you could damage them, and sometimes you can pull them right out of the plug. So it's always best just to work on the plug itself. This is your RAM right here. It's underneath this metal guard. You can take a pry tool and I put mine in here on the right hand side and you can pop that guard right off. Once you do, you will expose these two RAM ports right here side by side. Most of you will have a single 16 gigabyte stick that comes with the computer, leaving this port here for an upgrade. Now, Acer says that this computer has a maximum RAM value of 32 gigabytes. However, because of the speed of your CPU, I would assume that this computer could handle faster speeds than just the 32 gigabytes. So if you do upgrade beyond that, leave a comment. Let me know how it works out for you. Let me know if the computer actually sees it and, and uses it. And then I can include that information below for others uh, watching this video. As far as the RAM specs for this, these are two Sodium DDR5 RAM ports. Uh, it takes 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. I will have all that information below in the description if you need it. I will also include a couple different options in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. I will include a single 16 gigabyte stick if you're looking to upgrade by adding one or if this one has gone bad and you're replacing it, but not wanting to spend a whole lot of money. I will also include a 32 gigabyte kit, which will include two 16 gigabyte sticks. Again, if this one has gone bad and you're looking to replace it, but also maximize your RAM. The way that you operate RAM, there are two spring-loaded metal arms on either side of the RAM stick. You would gently pry those apart away from the RAM stick, the RAM will then release. Oftentimes it'll even pop up a little bit and then you can grab it in the center and slide it out of this port right here. To get the RAM back in, as you notice on your RAM stick, there's a long section and a short section. So you can't put the RAM in upside down. It can only go in the correct way. And then once you get it in nice and flush and straight, you just press down in the center of the stick. These arms will latch onto it and hold it in place. And I guess the last thing I'll mention about a RAM replacement or upgrade, I always advise my customers, if you're looking for max speed, max performance in your computer, upgrading your RAM is one of the easiest and cheapest ways you can do that. So I always recommend to max out your RAM. If you do want more performance, 
Uh, I also recommend upgrading your storage, which is right down here. I will go more in depth on upgrading the solid state drive here in a video below in the description. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your Go 15 and access your memory. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.